All right, I am heading to 1709 Sunny Hills Drive in Brandon. Um, this house is in North Brandon. Right, like right now, I am right on the line between like Brandon and Sefner. So I'm actually turning right to go into the Brandon area. So right now, after we crossed these railroad tracks, now we're in Brandon, and this is North Brandon, just kind of showing you just how close this boundary is to uh, Sefner. So we're in Brandon now, and this property is 0.9 miles away. I just left my house, so my ha between my house and this house, it's no more than a mile and a half, so this is like literally kind of my backyard. And this subdivision that we're pulling into, or this community, um, has no HOAs, no restrictions, and uh, at least I'm just verifying that looking at the sheet. And this whole community was built basically in the 80s, probably 70s, 80s. This house we're going to see is built in 81, so all in that kind of time frame. our next turn where this car is so I'm just shooting this video just to give you just a little perspective of where the house is in terms to the neighborhood in the area this is a very you know middle-class neighborhood um, safe kind of just quiet un, uh, kind of unnoticed if you will Because there's no HOA, someone has the luxury of having their boat in their driveway, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a, it's a bad area or a shady area. But everyone has their own uh, opinion of, uh, you know, how they want their neighborhood to look. There's another guy with his boat. That's why I'm trying to give you as much, um, What's the word? You know, exposure or clarity as possible. So you can kind of see what we're looking at. So we are real, real close here. See, this guy has his uh, RV right here. That's expensive. That's an expensive one right there. Or you can have a, a, a green house if you wish. So those are the perks of no HOA. This is it right here. So I'm just going to shoot just a little bit of the outside and then uh, I'll shoot a video of the actual inside of the property. I believe it's occupied. So I'm just giving you a, uh, oh, there's a dog here. Well, hello there, buddy. Fortunately, I am a lo dog lover, so. <laughs> smells my dog. So, just a little view of the neighborhood here. Quiet street. You can see you have a pool home here across this, uh, as far as this area or what this is. You see a drain there. So now this house is not in a flood zone, but you can see there's kind of a, a common area here where the water drains, goes under the street, keeps going. So. The roof looks really good. I haven't looked at the sheet, but the roof is 2015, so I can tell the shingles look pretty good on it. So that's only going on three years. Definitely animal friendly.
<laughs> Hello there. This dog is a licker. All right, so I'm gonna see this has come up a little bit. Not that big of a deal. I'm gonna knock on the door, see if anyone's here, and then I'm gonna shoot a video once I'm inside the house. 